You protesters are still in an uproar tonight after a controversial state board of education meeting. That meeting covered everything from Bibles in the classroom to the Trump attempted assassination. Plus, whether state lawmakers can join in on secretive executive sessions. Fox 25's Peyton May joins us now live. Peyton, you've been at that department since 8 this morning. You had to go through some new steps to get inside. Yes, Wendy, I noticed they're ramping up security measures here. For the first time, media had bag search and then had to go through a metal detector wand. Now, following that new security protocol, the meeting was about who's allowed in and who's kept out. We've got a senator that's requested to be in our executive session that was on the um, agenda today, but we have multiple reps and senators that are asking to be in. The board went into a private meeting in executive session for around an hour and a half and came back with no decision on whether state lawmakers like Senator Mary Boren and State Representative Jacob Rosecrans can join in on executive sessions. Look, I'm going to request that uh, the attorney general give us some clarity. You know, I've got, you know, left wing Democrats like Mary that want to come in and make it where we can't remove pedophiles from the classroom. So what she's wanting to do. She's wanting to disrupt that process. So the attorney general did cite that lawmakers can go into executive right. sessions if they serve on a committee um, like the education committee that Senator Bourne serves on. What further clar clarification are you looking for? If they have jurisdiction and that's what we've been asking is, well, show us, do they have jurisdiction over this type of section or, or session or that type of session. So again, uh, you know, we've got legal advice that says they absolutely do not have jurisdiction. We are being told by them that the attorney general tells them that they do. Uh, so we've asked for more information and that's where we need clarity of what kind of jurisdiction do, do the individual lawmakers have. Now, both Democrat and Republican lawmakers asked to join in on that executive session. The attorney general's office also just released a statement saying that there's some concerns that there could have been some Open Meetings Act violations today. We'll keep you updated on that. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Peyton May, Fox 25 News.